Mark About Town returns this week. This Thursday, I'm heading to the Savile Community Sports Center in South Edmonton. The Savile runs a number of sports programs that you might not even know about. Edmonton AM's Kim Nacreco has been hanging out at the Savile and learning about some of the sports there. She connected with John Kim, a member of the Edmonton Table Tennis Club, a club that has been running for 75 years. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about the history of your club, because you're not a new club. No, we're not. Uh, in fact, I would dare say we are one of the oldest athletic uh, organizations in all of Alberta, perhaps even uh, Western Canada. Uh, we were born in 1939, and uh, way back then, um, there were uh, a lot of table tennis enthusiasts that got together and said, hey, we need to arrange an association and a club, get together with all the other uh, local clubs in the area and start doing tournaments and weekly table tennis nights. And that's kind of how it started, where it was just uh, getting a bunch of enthusiasts together and then just playing, and then it just kept going on and on. We're at over 220 members, and uh, we play still once a week at Rundle Park on Mondays, and then we play four times a week at the Savile Center. What makes a space like this good for you guys? Why does it work? Uh, what's nice is that it's in a nice area where uh, a lot of people can get to. So the train comes here, the LRT. There is plenty of free parking, and the, the, the operative word is free, right? The facilities here are just amazing from just you walk in and you're blown away by how nice everything is. Uh, free locker rooms, um, you know, concessions. Uh, you name it, everything, the nice wide hallways, great lighting, the gyms are hardwood floors, uh, a lot of gyms in the other community centers are rubberized or they're not as high quality, these are actually, um, you know, uh, international competition quality floors, the lighting is excellent, so th these are all things that are important for table tennis as a sport, is the lighting, the conditioning, the, the floor quality, the acoustics, believe it or not, also matter too, so it's, it's the sound carries but it's not so reflective at times so there, there's a lot of things going for it here so so tell me a little bit about table tennis the sport when I meet people that are new to table tennis I tell them right off the bat that it is the most popular sport in the world and I get this look of uh, you know this look of incredulity they're like how can it be the most popular sport in the world I said let me explain from a pure participation and competition and, and just the ubiquity of the sport uh, you know I ask people how many people do you know in your family or your friends that have a ping pong table in their garage or their basement? Lots, right? So that's why I like to say it's the most popular sport in the world because the tables you will see everywhere. And it's one of those sports, it's not intimidating at all. It's not like throwing a fastball at you like playing baseball. So you got that, you got a paddle, wear some shoes, decent athletic gear. It's very inexpensive. And you just stand and then it's so intuitive. If I toss the ball at you, you're going to hit it. And it's so easy to play. So it's easy to play, and it's so inexpensive to get involved in. So that's what makes it so relatable. And that's the other reason why I think it's the most popular sport in the world. Those reasons, yeah. So tell me a little bit about the members that you have here. Our membership has grown uh, significantly in the last 10 years. Our members, uh, you know, we have quite a few seniors in our, in our membership. We, I'd say about uh, roughly half of our members are seniors. You know, the rest are um, adults from uh, age 18 to 60, then we have uh, quite a few students. We have students from the University of Alberta. We have high school students that come here every Friday. We also, you also see a lot of uh, mothers and fathers here that drop their kids off for our ju weekly junior training. So we have junior group training where we set aside two tables and we have a professional coach that uh, is part of a club that uh, coaches every week and he also coaches throughout the week as well. It's kind of a every person's club. You'll see a good demographic of Edmonton at a club. John Kim with the Evanston Table Tennis Club at the Savile Center in South Edmonton. We're going to be at the Savile this Thursday for Mark About Town. Join me for free fitness. Lots of great stories. Free coffee and muffins from Hat Tricks Restaurant setting up in the Savile West Doors. Big bronze entrance. Hope to see you there on Thursday morning.